Kalthum's second question, she said that I mentioned in a lecture uh, that there are four percentages of zakat. And this is, this needs explanation. First of all, we all know that gold, silver, stocks, currency, uh, things that are made for trade, selling and buying, they, the zakat percentage is quarter of the tenth, which is 2.5%. And to make it easier, if you have money, instead of uh, uh, multiplying it by 2.5, then dividing it by 100, just simply whatever amount you have, and you want to know how much the zakat is, divide it by 40. The result is your zakat. It's, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. I have 100,000. Divide by 40, you'll get 2,500. This is your zakat. And so on. So this is the first percentage. The second percentage is 5%. Nusf al-ushur, half of the tenth. And this is due on crops that are irrigated by me. So I have a well and there is a motor that I put diesel in to pump the water up so that I can irrigate or I bring pipes from a nearby river and I make a lot of construction to get the water to my farm. So I'm putting effort in it. This, I have to pay 5% of the crops. Specific crops, of course, because fruits, we don't have zakat on oranges or apples or bananas uh, or even vegetables. So there are specific uh, uh, crops that we have to pay zakat. Third percentage is 10%, which is the tenth of whatever the earth produces, providing that I have no effort in irrigating it. So it waters itself or the water is so close by that there are no need for generators or for pumps or for building anything. There's just, it, it, it's irrigated by rainfall. In this case, I have to give 10% because there is no financial burden on my side. Number four is when it is the fifth or 20%. And this is specific in what is known as arrikaz. And arrikaz, as defined by scholars, is the treasure of pre-Islamic era. So if I dig and I find a chest and there is a lot of gold coins in it, and I look at the gold coins and it says the Roman Empire. It's pre-Islamic era. This is called rikaz. It's a treasure. And I have to give 20% of it. People differ whether it is treated as fay or treated as uh, a treasure or treated as zakatable money. Either way, we have to give 20% for the cause of Allah Azza wa Jal. But if it is from the Islamic era, if it was like 400, 500 years ago, with the seal of the Ottoman Empire or something close to that, this is not rikaz because this belongs to a Muslim and I have to look for that Muslim. So these are the four categories or percentages of zakat.